the ingredients that we'll be using. First is three cups of almond milk, unsweetened. Now I'm using silk unsweetened vanilla, but it doesn't have to be flavored in any way. It can be the unflavored kind. Uh, four eggs from the six Prissy Chicks or whatever source of um, organic eggs you might have. One scoop of whey protein. Um, I'm using vanilla, the Vitacost brand. You can use whatever brand you prefer. One quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm using finely ground pure Himalaya salt from the Spice Lab, but you can use your favorite kind of salt. And here we have two teaspoons of vanilla plus one teaspoon of uh, stevia, liquid stevia. I'm using sweet leaf, sweet drop sweetener. Now you're saying to yourself, that doesn't look like vanilla, it looks like a bottle of vodka. Well, I make my own vanilla, and if you see in there, there's vanilla beans suspended in the vodka. This one has another couple of weeks to go, but I make my own vanilla extract on an ongoing basis, so that's why this bottle is here. And then finally, we're going to top them with some finely ground, freshly ground nutmeg. I have these nut, nutmegs from My Spice Sage, and I will put links in the show notes for um, the ingredients that aren't readily found in supermarkets. You will also need an oven-safe uh, set of six um, dishes that hold about a cup apiece, plus an oven-safe um, 10 by 14 uh, baking dish. It doesn't have to be Pyrex, it could just be a regular metal cake pan. You're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you're going to heat a kettle or a pan of water to uh, make a water bath for the custard. Now the reason why I put the almond milk in a Pyrex uh, measuring cup is it is cold from being in the refrigerator. And we want to preheat this by putting it in the microwave for about a minute or more um, until it is not boiling but almost boiling. So in my uh, smaller bowl for my stand mixer, you don't have to uh, put this together for a stand mixer, but I'm using my stand mixer so that my hands will be free uh, to videotape. I have uh, the four eggs, as you can see here. Here is the uh, salt. The um, stevia with the uh, vanilla extract. And the uh, whey protein powder. So now I've put the ingredients in the bowl on the stand mixer and we're going to start combining them on a low speed. We want to scrape down the sides so that all the ingredients get incorporated. We're going to start adding the hot almond milk a little bit at a time because we don't want to cook the eggs, we want to temper this. Now I have lightly buttered these individual cups. You could also use a spray, nonstick, or olive oil. 
but I didn't have any um, cooking spray today so I decided to butter these and we're going to pour the custard evenly into these six cups now to the top of these I'm going to grate some uh, fresh nutmeg so here are our six custard cups in the ovenware dish on the oven tray because it's easier to put the water bath in after you've transferred it to the oven and I'm going to pour water in till it reaches about half the height of the cups and you can see that this is hot water there's quite a bit of steam so it's important to have oven uh, safe cookware for this there we go Push in the tray and there we go. I'm setting the timer for 25 minutes and we'll check them at that time and see how they do. So here we have the finished custard and we're using the tongs to take them out of the hot water bath and put them on the rack to cool. And we're gonna let them cool completely before we try them. So here's the finished product, they're nice and cool. 